What's up everyone, we are back for another quick video. In this video, we're talking about a new tool that I've actually added to my stack for Merch by Amazon. And this was something that I learned about from your guys' recommendations, so thank you very much. And let me know in the comments below if you guys have any other recommended tools that I should check out and review on my YouTube channel for Merch by Amazon or Print On Demand. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're interested in learning more about different tactics, tools, tricks, etc. for Merch by Amazon, Print On Demand, side hustling, automation, whatever it may be, that's what we talk about on this channel. And as always, check the description below under the video. I am gonna put links to this tool that we talk about in this video, and I also put other relevant information there as well. So that being said, for the sake of time, we're gonna hop right into this video. The tool that we're actually gonna be talking about today is Productor, the Google Chrome extension. One of the best parts about this tool is it's 100% free. So you guys can literally go over to the Google Chrome store and actually get this right now. Um, and install it on your Google Chrome uh, browser. So once it's installed, you're gonna notice up here in the right-hand corner, we do have this little icon, product or for Merch by Amazon. I will let you guys know, and I've done a video on it, they do have um, some other product or tools. So there's also a product or for a Spreadshirt that I've reviewed and um, I'm using for the Spreadshirt platform as well. So let's go ahead, we're gonna hop over to the Merch by Amazon platform. I'm gonna show you guys some high-level um, details on how this tool actually works out. So here we are in the uh, Merch by Amazon backend. We'll see this is the Pretty Merch tool that I have installed here, um, which most of you guys are already familiar with. But uh, once you have this actually installed, the product or tool, you're gonna notice at the top here, we have two new tabs, product or manage and product or statistics. Um, let's hop into the product or manage page first. And I'm gonna just show you guys a very high level. They're always adding features. And one thing I will let you guys know about now is that um, you will notice, at least at the time of recording this video, there are bugs still with this uh, tool. So I have noticed that there are certain things that don't work sometimes, um, but they're also pushing a lot of updates. So I'm getting almost one update every day or a couple a week. Um, so they're actively working on it. And one of the other really cool things, I'm not sure if they're owned by Merch Informer, but um, as we can see up here, this is sponsored by Merch Informer. Merch Informer obviously is uh, you know, one of the top softwares for Merch by Amazon sellers. So it's cool to see that they're expanding and they have a new product um, and product offering. And so we, we do know that this is, you know, has a good team behind it as well. So that being said, now that this is loaded up a little bit, you guys are going to see there's a ton of stuff in here and there's a lot that I'm still exploring with this. But um, we have obviously the tab up here to open 10 new tabs so we can easily start creating and uploading products. Uh, one of the really powerful features of Productor is that it actually gives us information on the expiring products. So if I were to click this tab, it's gonna open up all the products that are coming up for expiration. Um, this is really, really helpful if you guys are like me and you have you know, almost 2,000 designs. A lot of times we create designs and build a listing and spend a lot of time, maybe money, on actually getting those product designs and then they don't sell and Merch by Amazon starts to take them down. We have that product atrophy and maybe that's because we didn't do a good product listing or maybe they just didn't have the chance to actually get a sale yet. So one of the easy things and cool things about this, this tool is that we can actually click this and easily relist the product. So if they're five days away from expiring, we can automatically click a button and Merch or product is actually gonna take that product and relist it automatically on Merch by Amazon. So we literally don't have to do anything. It's gonna run in the background. And I'll show you guys a little bit more about how to do that uh, later in this video. So make sure you guys keep watching. If we go through a little bit more, we can see we can blur out our data here. So just like in Pretty Merch, we can blur all of this out. I'm not gonna click this because it does have issues sometimes. Um, but two of my other favorite features as I've expanded onto other platforms are the export feature. Um, now there's two of these, right? We can export just the data um, into Excel for all of our active products on Merch by Amazon. Um, and one of the really helpful ones is we can actually export all products, including designs into Excel. Um, this is really useful because we're able to get all of the designs that we've uploaded onto Merch by Amazon. If you guys are like me in the early days of actually starting on this platform, there are a lot of designs that I, I uploaded, they started selling, they did really well, and I didn't save the design anywhere else. And so it makes it really hard to actually find that design or I have to go and make it again or get my designer to make it again. Um, you know, these are mistakes that we made in the past, right? Fortunately with Productor, we can actually download those designs as long as the product is still active so that we could take that product and list it onto another platform. So this is another really, really helpful feature of the Productor tool. We obviously have links to all of their socials, Facebook, YouTube, news, et cetera, and we can change and edit our settings here as well. 
Now this page gives us a lot of really good stuff as far as uh, data on these, which I'm very products and data driven. Um, so I like to have this. I'm, I love working with the numbers to see what's working, what's not. Um, so if we go over on the, the left side, we're gonna see that the um, this breaks down kind of our total sales in each of the marketplaces. If I hover over this, it's gonna give me a little bit more data uh, on which products are selling, give me an easy link to edit these. I'm gonna blur these out obviously uh, to protect my products, but this is really cool and just a useful kind of way to see uh, kind of a high level snapshot. Most of us are probably using pretty merch, so you already have this information, but uh, still nice to have in here. Now it's also gonna give us the other snapshots of how many products we have live. So for right now, for example, I have only have 894 products live. I've had a ton expire recently uh, out of my total 4,000. Um, and I can also hover over this and it's gonna pull up. Again, you guys can kind of see it's a little bit buggy. I'm gonna keep blurring some of this stuff out, but uh, this will show us all a list of the live products. Uh, the next one down, and this is again something that's been really helpful for me, is the uh, products that I've sold, right? So of my 894, 300 of those have actually um, sold. Um, so we can, and then it gives us a nice little uh, percentage breakdown here, right? So these are the products with at least one sale. It's going to tell me of my 900 products live, 33% of them have actually sold on the platform. Um, Producter does a really good job that actually pulls in data from our product listing. So I can see that I have 38 products that have uh, at least one review on them. So we have 38 uh, products that have at least one review. Um, none of my products have Amazon's choice, but if we have those, it's also gonna tell us. And then this, they just added the average days until first sale. So how long it actually takes for your product to get a sale. Now, right now this shows NA, that's because I think they just pushed, pushed this feature out. And you guys will notice over here on the right that I actually have um, my product database is actually being uploaded and updated right now. So some of this data hasn't actually been pulled in here. Um, you might have to come in and manually do a refresh on your product database to get some of this information uh, pulled into the platform. And finally down here, we can just see again how many products are, uh, or designs are live. So uh, essentially what this is saying is some of my products, so of my 894, I have 437 unique ones and then I've used those same designs and published them on multiple products. Um, and it gives us that same that same uh, breakdown. So of my 437 unique designs, 295 of those designs have sold. So 67% of my designs that are currently live have sold at least one time. So again, that information is really, really helpful and gives me feedback to say, okay, well, I might need to make some adjustments or maybe I'm doing all right. Um, obviously I've had a lot of products that have fallen off. So I, you know, these numbers used to be a lot worse. 67% is really high. Uh, in the past, you know, is probably much, much lower than that. Um, and then over here, we just have, you know, really simple, but all of the data for the market. So I can see my all time 2,348 as of the date of recording this video, uh, the US 2,343, it shows my royalties. So 4,728, same with Britain, Germany, etc. And then again, just a lot of data here, right? It's breaking down our previous month, current month, previous seven days so I can kind of get a good idea of the trend uh, in the last seven days so I can see uh, you know what's happening over these last few days um, and then kind of the trend lines now I if I scroll down here um, I'm gonna blur out some of this information but it'll break down individual products um, again I'm gonna blur this most of this stuff out but um, the cool thing is in this uh, well there's a lot of information here again that we can use but uh, my favorite pieces so far of this portion of this tool are the focus keywords. So it'll actually pull the keywords that have been indexed on Amazon out and put them in this column, which this is really, really helpful. So we can actually make sure our product is ranking for the right keywords and we can see what keywords it is ranking for. Maybe it's not ranking for ones that we thought it was gonna rank for. Maybe, you know, there's a lot of information and data that we can actually gather from this. Um, and then over on the uh, right side, there's a ton of different tools that we can actually use. So we can easily click this to edit the product. We can copy the product to clipboard and then go ahead and paste it in when we're doing a new product listing. So if we wanted to take this product exactly and put it on, let's say a uh, different style, like a sweatshirt or whatever, easily we can go ahead and do that. We can export it to Excel, we can delete it. Uh, we can save this single product as a product or draft. 
Um, we can relist this product. So this is what I was talking about earlier. If we have, if this product was about to expire, I could click this. It's going to open up a new tab and actually uh, go about automatically relisting this product onto the platform. Um, we can relist the product and then delete this one, which is probably a good idea. Um, if your product is not close to expiring, if it's going to expire, it doesn't really matter, right? Um, we can refresh the product in the database. So say we've just made a sale, we wanna get some updated figures. We can go ahead and do that there. Um, let me see. We can download the design right here. This is super, super helpful. Uh, we can convert. Okay, now these are some of the really powerful features of product or we can actually take the design and convert it directly to the hoodie size or the pop socket size uh, with either a transparent or black background we can actually convert it to the Spreadshirt dimensions and then download the product or the design. Um, we can check the trademark on TM Hunt and USPTO right here. We can check, uh, share this on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. So if we're doing some off Amazon marketing, this makes it really, really easy. And then finally on this page, and then we're gonna move to the next page, is there's all kinds of filters, as you guys can see here. So we can filter out uh, you know, the status. So if they're live, you know, rejected, whatever, the type of product, we can search for the ASIN, we can search or filter by the brand, title, bullet points, et cetera. So you guys can see, I can keep going on and on and just check all this data. Um, and they're always adding more to this. We can also see they're adding, for example, the reviews, the last review, the BSR rank, category BSR, marketplace, days until removal, date of removal, if it's already been removed or is coming up for removal, uh, when it was sold or how many products it sold all time, uh, the revenue we've made from the product, uh, the royalties, blah, blah, blah. And we can export all this information to Excel, which is really, really helpful as well. So if you guys need to get this data and you want to do some further analysis or manipulation in Excel, it's a great way to go ahead and download it and uh, utilize that to actually learn more about your business and make better decisions, You know, whether that's uh, product research or actually making better designs in the future. So that is just the first tab of the product or tool. So again, you guys can see that was a ton of information uh, just in this first tab. And we're gonna go right now into the second one, which is product or statistics. I already have it open just to save time here. Actually, no, I do not. So let me open that really quick. Now this tab is pretty much just as it sounds. It, it doesn't have as much stuff, but it does help get you a high level uh, data perspective, again, of how your, your business is doing. now. Um, this is something that you normally would have had to pay for pretty merch to get the same access to this information. Um, but it makes it really easy to kind of filter and see, you know, month by month, um, how your products are actually doing on the, uh, merch by Amazon platform. So we'll give it a second. It's loading up right now. It does take a second, um, to actually pull all this data into the platform, um, as we can see here. So let's give it one more second. As you guys know, my internet is always slow. I'm currently recording from a hotel room. Uh, which makes it a little bit harder to do. But finally it's loaded and you guys can see, obviously we have kind of the same graph that we get. Um, but the nice thing is it shows us the trend lines. If I hover over any of these months, it's gonna show, show me how many units I sold, uh, what markets they were sold in. So for example, over here we can see I had one in Great Britain and 123 in the US. The royalties I made, how many were returned, which is also indicated by this gray line down here. Um, which is all super helpful. And the other nice thing is it's also showing kind of when you got tiered up. So we can see tier 4,000 happened right around here. The other tier bars are not in here. And I think that's just because I didn't have this tool installed. So it doesn't have the data on that. Um, but going forward, it'll be nice to kind of see when I was able to tier up. And then the other nice thing we can do here is we can filter, uh, obviously at the top here, we can ch change this to whatever date range we want to analyze, right? Yesterday, yesterday only, seven days, 1430, et cetera year to date. Um, and then I can also drag this to get a better understanding. So I could even drag it. Let me see if it works. Let's try to drag it all the way up. And here, sometimes again, this is a little bit buggy. So let me just look at the last 30 days. And we can literally have a breakdown day by day of how well I was doing. So you guys can see literally every single day, um, we had a zero day here. We had some other really strong days. So this is again, really helpful if we wanna just get um, some more data on how our business is doing. Um, there is some more information out here. It's gonna give us uh, kind of a similar graph of 
when our products were sold, et cetera. I'm not gonna go down just to uh, protect my information, but you guys can play around with this as well. And uh, the last two pieces we're gonna look at, if we're in the uh, Merch by Amazon Manage tab here, I'm again gonna blur most of this stuff out, but there are a few things you guys will notice. So we have our normal bar up here that's added with Productor. Um, but over on the right, we have a lot of those same buttons uh, to actually easily access and uh, work on our business and our product listing. So we can edit, copy, delete, um, save save the single product as a draft, relist, relist and delete, refresh the data, download the design, convert to a hoodie, convert to a pop socket, etc. cetera. Um, so again, guys, this is a lot of information. It's really, really useful for your business to speed up time and efficiency. And so um, the final thing I wanna show you guys is if and that product are actually helps with if we go over to Amazon and let's just type in dog t-shirt actually let's do turtle t-shirt and pull up a few results again you, this is only gonna pop up once you have this product installed or sorry the uh, extension installed but let's go ahead and click on this product listing so on any product listing on Amazon we're gonna get a lot more information here um, it does take a second to load, but um, kind of similar to some of the other extensions, it gives us a really high level information about the products and the listing. So here we go, this is finally loaded in. And what you guys are gonna see is it's gonna give us a highlight of the product BSR, what category this is in, estimated monthly sales, the ASIN, the brand, uh, when this product was added to Merch by Amazon, if it is selling on Merch by Amazon, maybe it's not, maybe it's some other platform. If this was my own product, it would indicate here that this is my product. Uh, it's gonna show us the focus keywords, so the keywords that are doing well, um, the main ones, and we can actually copy those directly to a clipboard here. Um, and then we also see all of the keywords, right? These are all the keywords that are being in indexed on this plat or on Merch by Amazon by the Amazon platform. This is really helpful if we are trying to compete with this shirt or we are making our own turtle t-shirt, we can literally copy these out and then go ahead and put them on our product listing. And then finally, we can see the long tail keywords that are being used uh, as well on this product listing. And we can copy um, the product if we want. We can export product to Excel. Uh, and finally, we can analyze the Amazon index keywords of this product. Let me go ahead and click on this. I actually haven't even used this feature, so this is completely new to me, but um, apparently we can do this, so that's pretty cool. We can actually check which ones of these are really the index keywords um, and get some more information there. So. I hope that video was helpful for you guys. I'm still learning a lot about the product or Google Chrome extension. Thank you again to you guys who recommended I check this product or this uh, this out and I'm gonna put a link to it down below in the description. I have no affiliation with them, um, but it's really, really helpful. So I wanna pass that information on to you guys and share it with you as well. And obviously if you guys got some value out of this, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. It helps me share this video and get it out there in the YouTube community. And finally, if you guys are interested in learning more about any other tools or tactics or tr you know tricks and tips that I learn along the road, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button to learn more about what I am doing with my Merch by Amazon and print on demand business. So again, I hope that video was helpful for everyone and we will see you guys at the next one. Cheers.